we're excited to share a preview of version 4 of the Job Search API. This is just a beta preview, so everything is subject to change. That being said, there's some cool stuff coming up, so let's dive into it. Our previous code samples were all using version 3, so they'll still work if you want to start from there. As always, the documentation has all of the up-to-date information on which versions are available and how to use them. Version 4 is currently in beta and has some cool new advantages that you can use. First up, there's now the ability to use tenants. Tenants are entities that let you group companies and jobs instead of having everything grouped under your GCP project. This way, you can easily isolate tenants without having to create new GCP projects, especially useful for things like hiring agency and job sites working with multiple organizations. By default, you'll have a tenant ID when you set up the Job Search API. So if you don't want to worry about tenants, you don't have to. You can continue to use the API in the same way as version 3, and it'll always assume the default tenant. You could also create a new tenant with the API, then use that for everything by explicitly specifying it. You can create as many tenants as you need to organize your companies and jobs. If you're just looking for your default tenant ID, just create a company without specifying a tenant, and you'll be able to find the ID in the newly created company's name. Besides tenants, there's also some new features around the commute search. The Job Search API lets you search by a user's preferred commute time by driving and public transport. Version 4 adds walking and biking to this search, so you can give your users an even better experience when just looking for jobs. Just include a commute filter object when making a search request to filter the results by the commute parameter. There's more specifics in the documentation. Just as important as the user search experience is your experience implementing the API. That's why the Event Handling API has been created, to help make the client event system easier to integrate. This is the part of the API where you pass in events from users interacting with the search, so the machine learning models can be fine-tuned. For example, when a user clicks on a job to see more details, you can pass along a view message. Once you hook up the Events API, you can use the Events Livestream tool in the GCP console to make sure that you see the events as they come in. In addition, the data logging terms and conditions have been updated, so you can read exactly how the event data is being used. There's also a new API to create or update jobs in batches, and the client libraries now support gRPC. This should make it easier and give you more ways to integrate the Job Search API. Since this is all currently in beta, there's still changes coming. Make sure to check the documentation for the latest, and please share your feedback. Thanks for watching, and remember, when looking for talent, it's okay to keep your head in the cloud.